In this video guys, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can tell the difference between a male and a female Savannah monitor. So firstly, if you're new around here, my name's Richard and this channel's called Northern Exotics. We're a reptile YouTube channel. We talk all things reptile related, whether it be specific species care, breeds around live food, loads of little reptile hacks. If this is something you're interested in, I'd really appreciate it if you do hit that subscribe button. If you find value in this video at any time, I'd love it if you hit the thumbs up button as well. It just helps YouTube push my video out there so a lot more people can see it. So let's go over to Hugo and see if he'll let us uh, show you how to tell if he's a male or female. Now Hugo's down there, he's just there, but just as I come over, check out who's come to say hi. There's Popcorn, our cow sunglow boa constrictor. I've just put a new hide in for her, so that's why she's um, exploring away. Let's go down to Hugo, though, because that's who we're here to look at. Here's Hugo. He's coming out to play. I've put my leg there, so if he wants to climb out, he can. But I'm going to try and get to the top of his head. Let's have a look. A male savannah monitor. Let's see if I can get him up. Coming up, mate. Come on. Oh, there we go. A male savannah monitor has a big head. See where the big scales are? Down here, mate. Look down here right to the tip of his nose that the bigger ones are on the males and the females have got the smaller one but while he's out just like this i'll quickly root round to the base of his tail just a rude interruption just here did you know that savannah monitors male savannah monitors have got two um danglies we'll go with that word they've got two and they're in each side of the base of the tail running into the tail and then, obviously, when they get excited, I'll put a picture up now. They come sticking out just like little mushrooms. I'm sorry, kids. Yeah. What are you doing? That's my hand. Right, there we go. Um, see that little bulge at the very bottom? Oh, he's just realised he's out of his enclosure and he doesn't like it, so he wants to go back in. <laughs> sorry, mate. But yeah, there's Hugo anyway. People keep asking if he's tame. There's your proof he's come out and about base of the tail you can see there's a couple of bulges if it will focus there's a bulge on this side a bulge on the other side there you go only males have that look at that he's just gone straight back in <laughs> there he goes on the other side you can see the bulge there oh he's coming out to get me hand again right mate can you go over here come over this way there we go oh that's me fingers <laughs> you can see the bulge only males will have that bulge. And again, that's the way you can sex your savannah monitor um, from young. Now, the other way of doing it is only for when they're adult. I've never checked this, but underneath the back legs, on the pad of the foot, males have a waxy substance there. Apparently so. I've never checked it. I don't know. Are you coming out again, mate? I'm sorry if the audio's all over the place with this. I'm pulling the uh, camera closer to me, further away from me, just depending on where we're going. That's my fingers, mate. You are not going to come out and get me fingers, dude. If you wanted to learn how to care for a Savannah monitor, I'll stick a card up in the top corner now so that you can go down and have a look. But yeah, this is his enclosure. Big water dish down there. That's just there for a bit of decoration, really. It was live planted at one point. Look at him. Ha! Huh. Are you going to try that again? You're going to show the people just, there we go, look how strong those core muscles are. You're a clever boy. Yeah, this slab that he's on, his burrow is underneath it, just there. It's an absolutely amazing little setup, but it does need a good upgrade soon. But just to quickly reiterate exactly what Hugo's just shown us, the males have got a longer head than the females. You can only really see that obviously when you've got a male and a female together i'll stick something here so you can have a just a, another look you don't need to look directly at the top of the head you can look at the side profile of the head but yeah just like that picture says males have a bigger head males have also have a bigger wrist on the base of the tail and obviously that's because that's where their hemipenes which is what they're properly called the danglies that's where the hemipenes are so they need a bit more space there but the males have got the bigger wrist of the, the tail Adult savannah monitors, males apparently have a bigger sort of waxy substance on their back legs, I think it is, or their, I don't know. I've not really dived too much into detail with that one because I've never checked it. But that is how you tell the difference between a male and a female savannah monitor. If you've 
found any value from this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. We do have a lot of videos for Hugo, our Savannah Monitor coming up soon, including an absolutely huge um, enclosure build. But thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you all.